This video will be about maintaining your batteries. All batteries naturally will lose their charge over time. It's a chemical reaction that causes the battery to have the electricity to turn over your starter to provide light and to just do its function as a battery. It's a chemical reaction. In this chemical reaction, you lose your electrons and blah 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 it's all fancy stuff but we're gonna make this a simple video when your battery is low on charge or it's going through this chemical reaction it causes your battery to sulfate which is when a residue corrosion builds up on the lead plates inside of your battery like this one here is only going on a year old that battery over there is going on seven years old and that battery over there and Babe the Blue Ox is going on six years old. But all but that battery is doing really well. That battery didn't get kept on a maintainer very much. It just kind of sat. In my garden tractors, they sit when I'm not using them. In the summer, they get used more, but in the winter, they only get used when it snows. This one's only been used twice this winter. So it sat for four months for the most part. And it, it really, the sulfating causes your battery to be weak and go bad over time to where your lights won't be as bright if you turn them on or it won't have the power to crank the battery over without being boosted or charged ahead of time. It also causes your battery to not hold a very good charge for very long. So your battery will get weaker faster if you don't keep it on a maintainer or a charger. In this case, I would recommend using a maintainer like this one. This is a, a speed charge. I bought it at Fleet Farm. It's 1.5 amps, and it's automatic. In between the green and the red light is a yellow light for when it's maintaining the battery. When it's green, the battery is charged up like it should be. So this battery is as charged up as it's going to be. It's not in the best shape. It has a hard time cranking over. I just haven't had the money to go out and buy a new battery right now because batteries are expensive so you want to maintain them this charger was oh geez what was it it was like 20 bucks and then they, they go on sale every once in a while for 10 bucks so they're not too terribly expensive unlike that battery which is like 40 50 bucks the battery in this truck is like 120 130 bucks and that's a, a cheap battery an expensive one could be 180 dollars so what's what's worse a 20 dollar charger keep your battery on the charger or spending a bunch of money on batteries. Uh, this battery was like 80 bucks, I think. And it's only a year old. And right now I don't have it on a charger because I only have two of them that work right now. One of them died, it broke somehow. I think I dropped it and it got wrecked. But since that battery is in the green, I'll, uh, I'll take that off of there and I'll put it on this battery. This battery, I do definitely take good care of. It's six volt. Here's another thing about some of your battery maintainers. This is a six volt battery. That over there is a 12 volt battery, but that maintainer works for six, eight, and 12 volt batteries. I think it'll even work on a 24 volt system if you have two batteries hooked together. I'm not sure I'd have to look at it, but this one over here in the Dakota, this would be the oldest of the batteries here. And it's this battery is starting to leak acid. It's uh it's got a few problems. And this is basically what that sulfating would be, is this corrosion that's coming up. But this one kicked in because it dropped below whatever the certain voltage is, and it needed to charge up the battery. So that's what's going on here. I do have a trickle charger, I don't know where it is offhand, and that's a one amp charger. That one is continuous, it doesn't turn on and off automatically like these do. This one's got the green light, see? So, now I forgot where I was at. 
I think I'm going to conclude this video. I think I got everything I wanted to say in it. So please comment, rate, and subscribe with uh, if you like this video. And have a good day.